104.1. KRBE. Food Wars, Food Wars, what you gonna pick? Which one delicious? Which one to make you sick? Food Wars, Food Wars, which one is it best? Which one's a winner? Which one you detest? Food Wars, all dishes remain equal until proven more tasty. It's like cops make you all sick. All I hear is his character that got the lisp. That you do. you do. Which one? Dusty McAllister, whatever you do. Dusty, Dusty McAllister. Yeah. Food Wars, Food Wars. <laughs> That's all. You're trying to do a Jamaican accent, though. Got? Food Wars, Food Wars. What you gonna pick? It's a completely different character. But it didn't sound like that in that no, song. No, it sounded yeah, like the yeah. listening yeah. Food Wars, Food Wars. <laughs> well, either way, pick? anyway, it shakes out. What do <laughs> you think man. is the best appetizer of all time? That's today's category. The That's best right. appetizer. We want to hear from you. 713-390-KRBE. We're just going to go down the lines. Hi, mm-hmm. Lisa. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. How are Hi, Lisa. You? Hey, good morning. Okay, morning. tell us what's your nominee for best appetizer of all time. Spinach dip. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. So oh, is that the artichoke and spinach Throw dip? down. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yum. You, you're, I'm, Houston's used to have that's that. That's the one I, I always go to. Spinach and artichoke dip. But that is a really good dip. <laughs> Although piece I don't bread. eat it at every place, yes. though. To me, Lisa, it's an appetizer I want to try at every place if they have it. And that's not one I really go to. If there's like, like Eric's a calamari, I'll pick calamari over spinach dip if it's yeah. not at that. Yeah, Some restaurants place. are known for their specialty appetizers. <laughs> that's a good yes. one to come right out of the box that's with. Right. That's right. Strong yeah. entry. That was strong, Check Lisa. That one yeah, wow. Spinach right. dip. Wow. Okay. Let's go to Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Brandy, Brandy. What's your appetizer pick? Food wars. I would say fried pickles. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Another good one. Mm. Oh, With yeah. ranch dressing. Which do you? Uh, have you ever had Sam? Have you had the fried pickles that are spears over at Cat? Was it Katz's? They changed Katz's. it. They don't have any more. Yeah. No. Are they not spears anymore. I went to Katz's maybe a what? month ago to get fried pickles, and it was not the spears. I will that tell I know you where you can get. This, what is it? It Just was like regular? chips. Are they chips now? Yeah, I the like chips. the chips better. Here's I do why. Too. No. They yeah. burn, the spears burn you. Yeah. Because uh, it's too oh, hot. They're too really, heated. really hot. They're very cucumber. juicy. And then they, is that why they changed it? For sure? That, 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 that's some burn juice. I think they were the only ones, Kev, that did it that way. I will tell you who has got like the their best. Their was so good. Pappy's Cafe has these fried pickle chips. I thought they went out of business. They moved locations. They used to be on I-10, and now they moved out towards Dairy Ashford. You've had the Hooters ones, Kev, right? Oh, the Hooters. Those are really good. Buffalo Wild Wings has good ones, too. Yeah. Listen, people uh, on text are losing their minds that we've gone like two appetizers and have not said queso or chips and salsa uh, we'll yet. That. That's oh. a meal. That's not an appetizer. Chips and oh. queso. That's an appetizer. That's an appetizer. That's that's that was my dinner last night. And it's a meal. One, you put some meat in it. And then you're, I, to meal. me, Sam, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> chips and queso are the litmus test as to whether or not it's going to be a good Tex-Mex restaurant. Because if I you thought got, you, to you it was tortillas. Yeah, that was tortillas. Tortillas, too. But if you've got weak salsa. Just everything. There's many criteria. And the beer. If you've got, like, if you've got really bad salsa or queso, <laughs> the rest of the meal is not going to unfold right. The reason I bring up chip salsa and queso is because I said we're going to go straight down the lines, and from what I can see, not one person on the phones had said chips and queso. I really? forgot about that. There's a lot Maybe of text. Maybe Maybe because we get it for Texas, free. Texas basic. Queso is never free. No, if true, anybody queso. knows a place that has free queso, it, please let me know. Do you know. like the thick like, papacitos queso, or do you like the runny, papa, or the runny uh, queso? It's all good. Yeah, because like Lupe Tortillas is more runny. Like, yeah, more runny. Be careful with your shirt. Yeah. It's like drip. spill. I like dripped on my on shirt like me. yesterday when I was at Jules because I made homemade queso. And, and the way that it was slob? like splattered, no, the way my shirt was splattered, I was like, that's an interesting mark. And I looked down and it's just a big old daub of queso. I didn't realize. I thought it was just my <laughs> shirt design. Shirt? <laughs> I thought it was a pattern. Um, so did you lick it? <laughs> no, her dogs kept sniffing. I was like, oh. why are they sniffing me? <laughs> the Somebody on text said, How, are you guys even Houstonians? How can anyone answer anything besides queso? Like yeah. queso is the queso, winner yeah. of food. Wars. Calamari, man, we're still we got okay, the we don't have calamari No one has yet. said Let that yet. Here. Let me go Eric here. Like Come on, fried rubber. Ro, it's a, uh, oh, so good. Rohaifa, I believe, is how you say your name. Please tell me I'm saying correct me or correct me. Rohaifa. Yes, Rohaifa. Rohaifa. Yeah. Uh-huh. Welcome to the show. Good we're, morning. Good, good morning. morning. For those just tuning in, we're doing food wars. The category is best appetizer of all time. What would you like to throw in the ring? Um, garlic bread, but specifically North Ital- Italia in Houston has the best white truffle garlic bread mm. ever. Oh, that's you add truffle to it. Is that a post oak? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Not yeah. Olive Garden? Foods. Yes. Yep. Yes. Hey, while we're on the subject, we're on the subject of truff- truffle fries. I like that. Truffle fries <laughs> are a good appetizer. <laughs> no. Oh, oh yeah. I just had a meal. By the way, 
Hey guys, I've yes. been listening to you guys for like 15 years and I love you. You just make my morning every day. Oh, oh, we thank love to hear you. that. Thank you so much. Why don't you come up and we'll have some garlic bread Here's together? Here's your truffle garlic bread. <laughs> and then we'll breathe on you. Yeah, we <laughs> can. It's not really good make-out food afterwards. Why well, you both eat it? Who cares? Yeah, yeah, you're not you're making out with her, though. And it's not that much garlic, right? I don't know. Try might. Yes, oh. go there for lunch. Okay, I'm going to try it. Because I've been there before, no. but I did not try that bread. So I will try it now. Thank you so much oh, wait, for Ryan's telling us single? about it. Wait, what now? No, I've been Did you say somebody for a long time. What now? Are you making... Does anyone know this or is no, this... No, I mean, on. No. This Am I the only person that does that? We've not covered this at all. We've not covered this at all. After but, Food Wars, we got to discuss that. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Wow. Ryan Jason <laughs> Love Life. Yay! Next up, Michelle. Food Wars. I love that, Uh, Michelle, what do you throw in the ring for best appetizer of all time on uh, Food Wars? I would say mozzarella cheese stick. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sam, you... That was your favorite, I thought. It is. You always said that would... Mozzarella sticks, I think, are my favorite, which I uh, dip in marinara. Do you do ranch or marinara? Oh, sorry. Oh, did you... Ranch or marinara for a dip. Ranch or marinara. What do you dip it in, Michelle? I would... Both. I do both. Yeah. 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 Okay. She's a yeah, real mozzarella I, I, eater. I feel like in like younger when I was younger, it was mozzarella sticks. Now yes. mm-hmm. it's but you go to Costco, they got that big old box of like you could you buy the microwave. An air fryer. Oh Listen, my god. Microwave the marinara spring or something if you want just yeah. to have it. Yes, absolutely. Yo, I do not need a box of Costco size mozzarella sticks <laughs> yeah. in my house. They are going <laughs> to Or just take them and tape them to your gut. Fast. I know. Just strap them on you like a belt. You know, and carry them like that. Like bullets? Versus the inside. Ask, it's a faster way to lose the whole Has way. anybody has anybody asked <laughs> about box. wings? Well, that's if you want to throw that in the Let's ring see. as a great appetizer. We're talking about best appetizer of all time. Amanda's up next for Food Wars. Hi, Amanda. Hi, good morning. Morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, what's your nominee nomination for Food Wars? So I'm gonna go out um on left field with this one, mm-hmm. but they're called Texas rattlesnake eggs. You get them at Stomp's burger joint. Mm. And the only thing I can compare them to is if you take, like, a jalapeno popper, the buffalo, like, where you wrap it in bacon and cream cheese, and then you deep fry it and serve it with ranch. And it is... Mm. Oh, that's a lot going on there. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I eat one, but it sounds it like sounds I'll try it. sounds delicious. There What's a place called? Stompers? Stompers? That sounds... Stomp. It's Stomp. Stomp. Burger joint. Okay. Stomp. And where is it? Stomp. Like, what part of town? They... There's a, well, it's in Webster. Webster, and, okay. Uh, I think they have one in Pearland now. Oh, okay. But... The original one yeah. was like the Kima area. Oh, okay. It kind of sounded like a take on um, when uh, Guy Fieri came here for diners, drive-ins, and dives. Triple D. Triple D. Mm-hmm. He went to a place near Kima called T Bone Tom's, and they yeah, had down the street. Oh, is that down the street? Okay, yeah. So yeah. it was basically like a jalapeno that was so maybe that whole out. area. Maybe that area does that. And it was like it looked like an egg, but it was a jalapeno hollowed out had brisket inside. Oh, and then Ooh. they put I think they put cheese in there and then they deep fried it and it was like that. Like these whatever oh, the eggs oh, are. Like man. yours are rattlesnake Somebody, eggs. If anyone knows were, places that could bring us one of those, I gotta try this. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna have it like fresh and hot because yeah. you wanna have it. You know how fried food sometimes doesn't yeah, travel well. Oh, true. it's cream cheese in the middle. For that's what she hmm. said for cra- for which one? For the Texas rattlesnake eggs. Thing is what threw me off. Like, it's well, it's like a scotch egg, and that, that actually has an egg in it. But this looks looks like an egg. It does. It's like no a shape of an egg. But oh, it's not. there's um, no egg in it, Sam. Okay. No, I know that. Yeah, Bianca. But how could it be? Look you're up like next. Egg. Food wars. Uh, best appetizer <laughs> ever. What do you say it is, Bianca? Good morning. Hi, Bianca. Hi. How are you guys? Hey, we're great. Hungry. We're hungry What's your now? entry? And we're hungry. Well, I have two. I have um, jalapeno poppers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have. Crab ceviche. Crab what? Ceviche. Ceviche. Oh, ceviche. Yeah. ceviche. Yeah. I like ceviche. That's good stuff. Where do you get your ceviche from? Yeah, where's your favorite place? Actually, my husband loves to cook, so he makes oh, it. Um, Homemade he, appetizers. He just hey, listen. Yeah, we uh, make it at home. Bianca, if you guys are big ceviche people, yeah, I'm going to give a huge shout out to a place in Galveston. It's called Katie's Seafood. It's on the pier side. Okay. They were a market for years, and they recently opened their restaurant. And guys, their ceviche is ridiculous. Bomb explain delicious. what ceviche is for ceviche people that may not know. Ceviche is basically chopped up. You could do fish, crab, um, shrimp, mm-hmm. calamari, or octopus. I think traditionally a lot of people, because it's easier, it's fish and shrimp, and, and it's cooked easy. in the juices of oh, lime yes. and lemon. The acidity cooks it. And they'll put like jalapeno or like very, very, very thin so you red onion to cook sliced. It. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's cold marinated in, in the chip. acidity of the citrus juices. You get the chip and you, uh, you, have and you dip chips it. With it. 
Oh, and it's fresh. Katie Seafood. Oh, yeah. Major shout out Katie Seafood for their ceviche. The presentation is amazing. The amount mm. of, of ceviche you get is way more than for one person. And then when Rula says pier side in Galveston, that means over where the strand is. There's yeah. piers that go into the where little the ships Galveston are Bay. Yeah, where the ships are. Well, yeah, we look for the up. cruise ships, mm-hmm. and there's a whole bunch of stuff over there. Oh, I was thinking like the pleasure pier for a second. Right, uh, I know. It can yeah, be yeah. confused because no, no, no. there's piers that oh, go sorry, up the yes, other side as well. Thanks for clarifying. Yes, it's on the side where the cruise ships are, and there's a bunch of restaurants there. It's called Katie Seafood and their market. That's funny. And I, and I give them a shout out because they're my bread man people too. They, the pub boy buns there are my husband's oh, nice. bread buns. So Sweet. their ceviche, bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, oh, crab cakes. Anyone see crab cakes? Nobody has no, seen crab cakes are on bomb the phone. Too. Oh, TJ's so got one that, um, it, it, depending on what restaurant you go to, this was a good spin, like a twist food, a fusion food. TJ, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. We're doing Food Wars Best <laughs> Appetizers. Tell us what your contribution is. I am here to advocate for the delicacy that is Southwest Egg rolls. That's a sleeper. Yeah, Chili says a good one. But yeah, yeah. Cheesecake Factory is probably yeah. the first one that put that on the map I mean, here in sauce. Houston. Yeah, because yeah. really, what's in it? And there's black beans. There is there meat in there? Fried, or is it chicken. Crispy. Queso. I think there's chicken, 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 chicken in it. Corn. Corn. Mm. Chicken. Corn. Mm-hmm. A little bit of black uh, bean. Like pico de gallo. Where's your Rico. favorite place to get it, TJ? Where's your favorite place to get Southwest egg rolls? Gringos because they pair it with their avocado ranch and their oh, Amazon sauce and it oh, is yes. amazing. It's good. Oh, I had yes. that last year. It's so. What was good. it last sauce? Amazon sauce. What's that? We gotta find out. The fire, like Amazon fire, like Gringos hot, is hot. good, y'all. Hey, Gringos is solid. TJ, they won our. Remember yeah. our first ever. Tex-Mex? Rule and Ryan show Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex competition. Yeah. Gringos won it the first time ever. Yeah, really okay, good. TJ, somebody in all caps wrote Southwestern Egg Rolls. Yes, all caps, because that's how much I love them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, great Don't you guys contribution. get full eat? I feel like you that's do get full. That's like a meal. That's, that's what I'm Southwest saying. Egg Rolls are real. I mean, they're deep fried. That's what I like about really pickles and calamari. Heavy. You can have like seven or eight of them. Yeah, and then still eat your or meal. Or some chip calamari is fried too, isn't it? Yeah, but you can have like seven. Right, they're much smaller. They're not as filling. So I guess I learned something new today. It's called the harbor side versus the pier side versus the sea wall versus what else would we say? No, that's it. That's just the sea East wall. Beach. Was in East Rocky Beach. Mountain oysters. Anyone have them? Those are testicles. I can't do that. No, I've never tried. I'm them. not going to eat that. You're I'm throwing that, that down. Try for Tuesday. Best no, appetizer. Eric, please, no. No, I'm no. not eating. Uh, no, 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 yeah, Amad, let's find some. Oh, he's like, I, I have that all the time. I can't. I can't. Uh, let's see. On text at three seven five three zero. When it comes to food wars, hello, we've missed guacamole. Yeah. Guacamole oh, yeah, yeah. and chips. But you got to pay for chips. You got to pay for that one, too. You got to pay extra for that. Or fried <laughs> zucchini. all the good stuff? <laughs> fried zucchini is always Here's tasty. one that I think is really delicious. Have you ever had those, like, homemade soft pretzel bites that you dip in the mustard? I like, it, in the case. I like the cheese. The cheese, yeah. The beer, beer cheese. cheese. Beer cheese. Beer cheese. Yes. Oh, my God. That's I went so to Wendy's good. yesterday, Kev. I got the, uh, the... Now, I've been good. I haven't done fast food since... Uh, what I eat here? Raising canes. Yeah, raising Since canes. Since we had raising canes. I ate so though. many. Yeah. Like what? I, it's Seven a pretzel. planks. So I had the pretzel dump, bun. Pretzel bun with the double with beers. Cheese, beer on, cheese it. on it. Oh, Bacon. Which place was this? So good. At Wendy's. They no have it right now. Okay. It, just, it was calling my name on the billboard there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all special now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The other appetizer I want to throw out that it's all about what cuisine you're eating, but every time I go to a Japanese restaurant, the number one go-to is edamame for the appetizer. Oh, yeah, that's yes. That's Always good. have edamame. Solid. And it's actually good for you. I mm-hmm. do love edamame. Something, something to eat before you eat. Do you dip it in soy sauce? No. Uh, I just like them. Sometimes they have chili pepper edamame. Do you suck the salt off the shell? I like to dip them in soy sauce and wasabi, make them spicy. Really? Mm. Uh, I'm going uh, grilled oysters from the Rupor. Oh, the Rupor. R O R O U X P O U R. Over here at the oysters. At Memorial City. Some caviar Mall? on top too. Th- they are at Memorial City Mall. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I discovered this at uh, Drago's in uh, New Orleans because that they that's one of their specialties right there, and they just grill them right in that front is of you. Good the grill. Oh my god! Okay. They put this Parmesan and garlic sauce up on there. Forget about it. Mm, forget about, forget it. about <laughs> it. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. Now everyone's hungry. So there's, hungry. There's more. Um, there's so much we didn't get to. Boudin balls, quesadillas yeah. as an appetizer for the table. What's the one pay way? Those crab. Crab, crab rangoon. rangoon. The, yeah. Those are just really good. Those. What do you call those the appetizer you get? At, it, it, they're like they're like little dumplings that yeah. Oh, not pot stickers, but the other they're ones. They're kind of like dumplings. They look like a dumpling. Oh, God, what are they called? Pot stickers? Um, mm. Gyoza? Nah, I can't think of what it's well, called. Well, whatever gyoza. it is, I'm very hungry now. And coming okay. up next, Ryan's going to tell us all that he's had a girlfriend we didn't know about for God oh, knows how long. So, no, no, we've not, not talked about this before. Does anyone remember this? We have anyone never, listening, text us. If it, you've heard him talk. About being having a girlfriend. I do not remember this at all. I'm just saying that the, the Congratulations. debate is, he's telling us that we've talked about it and we are all shook. Yeah. We've never known this. I've, so we're going to dig deep.
Deep, 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 de